I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. I call this exercise Charleston Chain Reaction because during the Charleston, when you pass tiles, every decision you make affects the next and it creates a chain reaction. We're going to look at the dealt hand and find two different categories to play. Plan A, Plan B. And we'll do the exercise twice using the same tiles and compare results. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to be non-dealer for this exercise, so I'll get 13 tiles and then I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers. We have jokers, a flower, one, two, three, nine in cracks, one, seven, nine in bams, five dot pair with an eight. If these were your tiles, what would be your plan A and what would be your plan B? I think if these were my tiles, I'd play an odd hand for plan A. Here's a five, one, three, seven, nine. There's a hand there with no gaps. I would keep all the odds. We have to let something go though, right there. For plan B, we have one, three, five, seven, nine, or maybe little odds. So let's do the first odd hand, no gaps, or maybe for plan B, one, three, five, one, three, five, little odds. We have one, three here. So let's pass the one bam. Oh, you know what? I need to, I need to take a photo of our dealt hand. When you do this exercise, make sure you take a photo because you got to recreate it. So we're going to do one, three, five, seven, nine for the first one. So these are all discards, really. Let's pass two, eight, one right there. Let's take a photo. Technically, we didn't get keepers. We're looking for specific tiles for this one hand. This is one reason why I really don't like to pick a hand right away. We actually have another hand in here. Five, seven, seven, nine. Let's just keep that and pass these three. We'll take a photo. And we got a keeper. One, three, five, seven, nine. So we're going to let that go. We'll take a photo. Oops. Okay, that's a keeper. Now here two dragons and a flower. We don't have a pair in here yet. Gosh, look at this. One, three, five, seven, nine. Right across left. Yikes. I think I would stop the Charleston. I would not pass. I would not pass a flower and I wouldn't pass two dragons. I 
I think I would stop the Charleston and ask for one, one tile. And if I stop the Charleston and say I want one tile, or let's say I was at a table and my opponent did this, where they said they want one, I would decline. So we're just going to say that we got to decline because that's pretty much what's going to happen in real life, most likely. Because we stopped the Charleston, red flag one. Wanting a one tile, that's another red flag. So let's just say we have a hand with no gaps. We have weaknesses though. We have two pair and we have singles for those. But we have three discards. So that was a good Charleston. We're going to reset and see if Little Odds had a better results though. So we're going to reset here. Here's what we started with. We stopped the Charleston, so I don't know what's in here. So I just mixed them up and recreated three passes. Since we didn't go into them, it's really, it has no effect. Okay, so little odds. One, three, five, one. All little odds. You know, we could maybe even do a one, two, three, four, five. If we get a four bam. We even have a flower here. We could do two, three, or single pair Pung, Kong, four, Bam, Kong, five. Let's just see. We've got tiles we can pass. We got a five. So let's pass these three. Threes. And a four. Here's a three. So we're thinking little, little odds probably. Here's one, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five. One, three, five, five, one, three. We have one, three, five, five. That is a hand right there. One, three, five, five. So I would probably pass one, three, four. Focus on little odds. And, ooh, dragons. We're gonna we're gonna break it up. We got a three. Might as well keep it. This is a little bit risky. Okay, one, three, three, five. I would pass these three. No keepers. I would not pass like numbers. One, three, five, five. I think what I would do is let the three crack go because we have a hand here with no gaps and I would want to pass fully. No keepers. So we have four discards, and a hand with no gaps. One weakness. We could Pung here, Pung here. We just need one good pick for the flowers because we need a Kong and then a, a pair in here. Even though we have four discards, we have a hand with no gaps, one weakness. The other one we had a hand with no gaps and three discards with two weaknesses. So I think the results here were equitable. Either hand would have worked out great. When you first get your dealt hand, always look for the strength of the hand, but try to find a plan A and a plan B. Just in case you don't get tiles for plan A, maybe you can switch to plan B, even mid Charleston. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. 
click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.